probably should do something, but maybe it's just not that that motivator, that starting point. You have uh, an excellent informational opportunity coming up uh, tomorrow, right? Yes, that is tomorrow. Man, time <laughs> time goes by. Yes, I am. So I try to put as much information out there as possible because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of decisions are driven by what you understand. And so I'm going to be talking about sugar, you know, cravings, because so many people come to us and they they have re- resistance. They, they have trouble trying to stick to things because of these these cravings that that become overwhelming. So I'm going to kind of take that and really dig deeper into, you know, the biochemistry, why this is happening, you know, the food that we're eating and how we can really come to a place where um, we can start to rebalance and fix, you know, those those issues. There's there's so many different directions I want to go on the sugar cravings front, but the one that is really front and center when you read about the the webinar you're doing is how sugar cravings are your body's cry for help. I thought I just wanted a candy bar. Talk about the cry for help your body is making there. Yeah, so there are, well, first of all, you know, there's going to be, there's going to be certain symptoms that your body experiences. And these are all, these are all, you know, obviously screaming to you that, you know, something needs to change. So we talked about metabolic health, you know, high blood sugars, high, high blood pressure, um, high, high triglycerides. And all of those things, those are markers. Those are markers of your body saying, listen, something metabolically is wrong. But then there's the actual symptoms of, of the sugar cravings, sugar cravings, especially after meals. When you eat a meal and you get very tired an hour later, that's your body screaming to you that something's not right. So I'm really going to dig deeper into that because this isn't this isn't just about people being overweight this is about our bodies being meta, metabolically injured and we need to fix we need to fix those things in order to obviously achieve optimal weight optimal long-term weight loss talking with sherry stoka from way less md and wellness the other thing that popped into my brain is something you had shown me very early on in one of my sessions and i don't remember the specifics of it but it's what happens to your blood when you have too much sugar, and again, it's not one of these things that most of us would would have this concept. Uh, but what I do remember out of it, Cherry, is it's not good, right? Yeah, when sugar is in our blood, it turns our blood turns into syrup, and that's why our blood can no longer get to the smaller areas of our body, our fingers, our toes, our microcirculation. It literally turns to syrup. And I'm going to talk so much about this in the webinar tomorrow because. It's foundationally the beginning of the inflammatory state in our body and then infl- inflammation ultimately, you know, ends up driving, you know, disease progression. So um, it's such a great analogy. And I'm going to give a lot of different analogies tomorrow to help people really understand the concept. Because actually, when you have blood just sitting, when you have sugar sitting in your blood, it can actually, it can actually produce its own fat cells um, on its own. So again, just very, you know, it, it's so important to understand all of those things that come into play. And I, I would guess, too, you're going to talk about where the sources of the sugar is. I mean, we can think of some of the traditional, you know, if you go for the donut, you go for the cake, you go for the sugary coffee. But just how added sugar is in so many different processed foods and products that's marketed to us. Everywhere. I mean, everywhere. You can't, I mean, it's in our, there's one teaspoon of sugar in a tablespoon of ketchup. There's one tablespoon of sugar in like our tomato sauce. It is everywhere. The food, the food industry is, is sneaking it in so that you, you like it and you crave it and you buy more. And so I, yes, I will talk about the, the common foods that kind of are, are the culprits for it, for sure. This is going to be a controversial statement. You're used to making them. I'll make it. Sugar does not belong in your tomato sauce. <laughs> I'm just going to, I know, I know people who do it on their homemade sauce. They put white sugar in there. I go, what are you, what are you doing? Well, uh, it, I know it, what they're doing, but why, sugar. you know? Exactly. You know, it's it's all to beat the competitor to enhance the taste and drive sales. I mean, it's it's a crazy world out there, Pete. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Well, you got this webinar that's coming up tomorrow afternoon that you're going to be hosting. Uh, if people want to get yes. uh, information, they want to get the link, they want to get involved, what, what's the, what can they do? Yeah, of course, going to our website, waylessmd.com. Um, going to our Facebook page is a great place. We're always posting um, updates there. 
And of course, um, what would be best is going on our website and adding um, um, adding your name so that you get all of our newsletters. So subscribing to our page um, is another another place to start. Yeah, absolutely. And when you check out weightlessmd.com, all of the different customizable weight loss plans are there. Uh, we could talk forever about those, but uh, again, if it's something, if you've tried the diet culture before, the calories in, the calories out, the point counting, all these different things, uh, this is completely different. <laughs> and you need to, you can yeah. check it out ahead of time at waylessmd.com, Sherry. And you guys are in the Southport Plaza in Kenosha. How can they uh, set up the risk free consultation? Yes, calling it, our number is 262 226. 2046. We also have a location in Brookfield. Very, very good, Sherry. Uh, I know that uh, you're traveling this morning. Thanks for popping on with us. Safe travels. Uh, Best of luck with the webinar, and we'll catch up with you next Wednesday morning. Awesome. Thanks, Pete.